Hello everyone. I wanted to give you a quick uh, um, look at my new uh, prototype uh, Delta printer I've been designing. Um, this is 3DR. Uh, it's just the first prototype at the moment and uh, it's got a lot of things that I really liked about the Rostock that I built before and quite a few things uh, I liked about the Cossel printer. Um, but uh, uh, a few of the things I wanted to change and, uh, and keep more like the Rostock. Uh, I also wanted to go back to uh, uh, more of a RepRap style printer with a lot more printed parts. So this machine has got uh, most of its parts uh, for the structural side um, 3D printed, uh, all the base and all of the assembly. Um, the aluminium rods on the sides here, they're not actually used for the motion, so I'm still, still using um, six millimeter steel um, uh, bar for the motion. Uh, and uh, the reason why I wanted to um, not use uh, the aluminium or anything else for the motion is really that the idea was that these can be replaced with anything like um, steel tubes or copper tubes or even uh, sections of bamboo. So they don't actually sort of do anything other than um, do uh, support the machine um, vertically and give it some strength. Uh, the steel rods are not quite strong enough to do that on their own, like on the Rostock, so that uses 8mm rods. So this could be really interesting that uh, these parts could be replaced. I'd really love to do um, a design with some, maybe some bamboo or something just to show it can be, uh, it can be done. Um, so a few other things. The, uh, all the electronics are up in the top. They're fully integrated. I've got the electronics sort of all built in to the, to the top section now. The main board and the sensors for the homing positions. Uh, the motors are in the bottom and all the wiring at the moment runs through the aluminium tube. It could, could run through anything else as long as it was hollow that you used. So there's no wiring on display. Um, it's driven by Spectraline, uh, which is really nice. Uh, on the carriages here, so it's very lightweight, very fast, and very easy to uh, to assemble and to set up. The uh, push rods, the push rods are uh, partly 3D printed. The ends are printed. Uh, it's using three millimeter carbon fiber rods, uh, but uh, they uh, I try to get as much 3D printing in there as possible. There's some springs just to take out backlash, and a small carriage, uh, very similar to the Rostock carriage, but um, much much smaller. Uh, an assembly for, this has got a J-head in it, but it could be any other type of uh, um, hot end. And the carriages themselves, I'm still using linear bearings on this one, but I do have a modification I'm going to try with some um, brass bushings as well. Uh, so that'll be the next thing to try out. It's got integral filament holder as well, and the extruders at the back, nice and easy to access and to change out. The, uh, the bed at the moment is um, uh, just a piece of die bond that goes on the top. I did wonder about the very first thing it did was actually print and level its bed because it could print straight on top of this PLA, uh, which would be really nice to actually sort of have it level out. But uh, really you need something on there to, uh, uh, to um, be able to remove the parts from. So at the moment it's die bond, could have a heated bed, doesn't really need it. It's designed really for printing PLA and nylon. Uh, it's really good for both. It doesn't need a heated bed for doing either of those two. So anyway, that's a quick introduction. I'll uh, post some more up on my blog and um, give you a few um, shots of it actually printing now. Uh, let me know what you think. Hope you like it. Thanks a lot. See you soon.